In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a new Blender add-on called Step Motion, which is made to help you create stunning stop motion animations inside Blender. So if you ever wanted to create stop motion style of animations and wondered how to do it, then this add-on is gonna help you with that. After installing the add-on, you can start utilizing its features right away. When you open the add-on in the end tab, you will first see a button to start the step motion add-on. Clicking it spawns a sphere in your scene, and you are all set up to begin the animation. Now here is where the fun begins. You have a few options. You can start by positioning your object and then hitting duplicate frame, which will give you a copy of your frame so that you can start working with your animation and creating your motion. Alternatively, you can choose to use the new frame option. And what this does is that it creates a frame with your object placed in the center of your scene, which can be a cool little feature when you are working on looping animations. So whether you are duplicating frames or creating new ones, you've got the right tools to bring your animations to life. Now let's explore how you can cycle through your frames. You have a couple of options. You can simply use the arrow buttons in the visibility panel or hold down the control key while using the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. Additionally, there is a cool feature called onion skinning, which is really useful in animation. This helps you preview your frames by displaying previous frames in red and the next frames in blue. And this can help you fine tune your motion, especially if you are working on something complicated. But having too many instances of your model displayed at once can be pretty confusing and annoying. So if you prefer a destruction-free viewport, you can uncheck frame visibility, leaving you with just the object. And don't worry, you don't have to work with the sphere that comes by default. If you want to add custom objects, simply select your desired object and press Add Object. Now you can access the same features that I just mentioned on your models. Once you have finished setting up your animation, select your frame objects inside the collection and press Set Position. Next, navigate to the Step Motion Preview and select your frame collection in the Geometry Node modifier. You will notice that by default, the looping feature is enabled. And this is basically for looping your animation so that it keeps repeating. And if you don't want that, you can uncheck it. This allows you to manually animate the keyframe values for more precise control over your motion. And after you have completed the setup, head over to your Step Motion interface and select the start and Indian frames under the export tab. Also make sure to check realize instance in your geometry node modifier. Finally, press export.abc to finalize the process by baking everything into a clean alembic file, which you can append to your projects. But the step motion add-on doesn't just stop there, because it also includes a procedural clay material with a lot of settings to adjust its appearance with adjustable settings for color, noise, bits, fingerprint bumps, and so much more. And most importantly, you can animate this material using the frame step value to adjust its speed, giving you a simple yet powerful way to add depth and movement to your renders. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.